Hello YouTube, this is mpan 72 and just bringing you a little video uh, basically about did I accomplish my goals in 2021, what I'm looking forward to in 2022. This would have been a video about metal detecting because I went to go out Saturday, which was yesterday, and do a little uh, swinging, but Thursday coming home from work, walking up to my house, I kind of hurt my knee, I don't know what happened, it just... Something kind of gave way, and it was, it's was it been a little bit painful, but more just stability hasn't been there. So I wasn't able to do that. So I figured I'll bring you this video instead, which I was going to wait till next week to do. But let's get started. So my 2021 goals were, if you, if you watch some of my older videos, I wanted to get 100 ounces of silver and one ounce of gold. You know, obviously, you know, I got to little sample here where I've been able to pick up during the year. I, I accomplished my goals. I actually, I don't have an exact count, which I know I should, but I'm, I'm actually, for gold, I'm at 33 grams, I believe, and for silver, I'm probably somewhere around 105 or so. So I want to give you an idea of what I picked up. Of course, I picked up an assortment. I grabbed some American Eagles Type 1 and 2. I have the Type 2s here. I only grabbed four of those. I have 10 of the uh, Type 1 for 2021s. You know, I always pick up rounds. You know, Buffalo rounds, you can't go wrong. Indian Head Buffalo rounds. Uh, Asahi rounds I'm, are some of my favorites. They're just very clean looking, so I like them. Picked them up. Picked up from some bars. You know, when uh, uh, Atmex was having a, a good sale on five ounce, five one ounce bars. Um, one of my favorite collectibles is the uh, Australian series with the parent and offspring. This is the platypus for this year. I have, I, I forget, I think the kiwi was the first year. No, I'm sorry, the kookaburra was the first year. And um, kiwi is actually New Zealand, I believe. And the platypus was this year. I'm going to probably continue this series. I don't collect a lot of series. I do collect um, the peanuts, and I have several of those, but they're kind of put away in my perma stack, like it, it never going to sell. Um, actually, this year was broken down into three different phases, basically. Early in the year, I was picking up what I normally pick up, a lot of bars, I mean, I'm sorry, a lot of constitutional, some sovereign, different places, you know, Britannia's, uh, uh, Canadian... Um, all around the world, and also some American Eagles. Uh, I, you know, I like my constitutional quarters, nickel, I mean, quarters, dimes, half dollars. Like I said, some bars. And uh, that's where I was getting my bulk. And for the gold, I, I, I think my first purchase this year was a quarter ounce American Eagle, which is the only American Eagle I bought, picked up this year. Uh, that was early. Then... I, you know, I just wanted to get a nice American Eagle this year. And what year is it? I'm not even sure. It might be... Yeah, it's a 21. But then things changed a little bit. And towards the middle of the year, I started, you know, thinking I was smarter than I really was. Started grabbing some things, I guess, the Pac-Man rounds and the King Kong rounds. Figuring I could flip them relatively quickly for profits. Which, I did flip a couple of the Pac-Mans for a little bit of profit. I actually traded for Constitutional silver at a little bit higher value than I paid for them, including shipping and everything else. You know, the, the King Kong rounds, I, I got other ones. These are the three I'm actually going to keep. The colorized, I'm going to keep them for a while anyway. I don't usually like colorized, but these thing, things seem to do pretty well a year or so after they come out. The TEP package colorized versions from Atmex. I do have a couple I'm keeping for myself, just plain rounds. But I have some more I'll be selling, you know, probably some sometime during 2022. But I didn't go crazy on that stuff anyway. And I didn't pay super high premiums, so I'll probably recoup it. You know, even if it's at a break-even point, you know, it's, it is what it is. I learned a lesson, so that's valuable as well. But towards the middle of the year, things started to change. Um, supply of silver kind of got short. Gold, not so much, but locally, everything was short. I have a couple dealers I go to. I live right outside of, right outside of Philadelphia, and there's some in Philly, but I, I, I live in the, the suburbs, so I kind of was staying out here. I didn't really want to go traversing through the city too much this year, you know, where everything's been going on, but that is what it is. I'm not going to get into that. 
but things were pretty in short demand in, in my area. So I went to, I basically was doing most of my purchases online, which I do a lot anyway, but I kind of had to shift focus. Um, towards the middle of the year, I, I was going after my, I was looking at the uh, Mexican silver, which I, I've mentioned many times, it's some of my favorite, but the premiums went up on that significantly, so that wasn't a great deal anymore. And I always buy my gold in fractional, I just... I know I should probably put the money away and wait till I can get a half ounce or, you know, at least a quarter ounce, you know, American Eagles probably or something along those lines. Well, that's, that's what the, the conventional wisdom is. But for me, I when I want it, I need it because if I don't, I might not have the money. I might put it somewhere else, you know, because I've also been buying some numismatic coins this year, which is fun, so I get a bonus. You know, I do get some value, but I also, I, I enjoy it. So that's that's where the value is in that, mostly. But if I don't buy when I have the money in hand, you know, I might not buy. So I, I buy anyway, even though the premiums are a little higher. Well, significantly higher, but it, the way I do it, it's not crazy. Because, like I said, it's still going into a, a savings account, and, and it'll hold its value way more than if I just held on to the fiat. And I went out getting stuck anywhere. But that was towards the middle. Like I said, the Mexican started getting a little higher. The American Eagles were going skyrocketing. The uh, one-tenth ounces were a little out of my budget because I like to stick with... Around, I was sticking with around $100 every time I had money to purchase precious metals. So I, I had to make a decision. What was the better choice? $100 in gold or $100 in silver? Sometimes it was $100 in silver. This was towards the third part of the year. So... What was happening was 100 ounce, I'm sorry, 100 gram bars of silver were some of the better deals for, you know, bang for my buck. And the 125th ounce gold sovereign coins, excuse me, which several co uh, countries mint, um, seemed to be my best values for the $100 range. Actually, it was it was less than 100. It was between 91 and 95 hours, mostly for the 100 gram bars and the 125ths. I did buy one one gram at one point because I bought a round, a silver round, and a Canadian one gram, which actually hold their value pretty well because they're they're it's it's a sovereign nation and you know it's minted from uh, out of a sovereign nation, but a lot of people know the Canadian maple leaf and. It's a 50 cent piece, but it's it, it holds its value pretty well. But so do the 21 25th ounce uh, round uh, coins, which they are coins. Um, they do seem to hold their value, then hold their premiums. Like I see them for sale on, outside of eBay, and I'll get that get to that in a minute. And other places, and and they're relatively the same price, so you're not going to lose too much on that. You're, you're getting beat up on premiums no matter how you look at it, but that's what I do. That's how I do it, and I look at it, I'd rather stack than not stack. I know I should have more discipline, but I don't, so I do it this way. Um, the one-ounce bars, even singles and, and five-packs, ten-packs, ten premiums went sky-high. So I kind of, that's why I was sticking with the 100 gram, which I, I actually like this size. I like the 100 gram size of silver. Um, I prefer to stack one tenth ounce coins, sovereign coins, but um, the one twenty fifth ounces hold a little less of premium than a one twentieth. And like I said, I want to be right around a hundred dollars for each purchase. That's where I have budgeted, so I, I have to stick with these. And I think for the most part, they're a little better than the grams. So that's what I've been doing for the year. Um, this may not fit your style, and if you could buy bigger, trust me, everybody knows bigger is better when it comes to stacking precious metals. The premiums are much lower. I would love to stack 250 gram bars. I I don't know what it is. I kind of like the uh, idea of um, my silver in metric. <laughs> I know it's a little odd, you know, being, being American, but I like that idea. I would like to get a kilo bar. And I would like to start stacking 250 gram bars a little more if I could. Now, here's the problem. 2021, my goals are going to be substantially lower. 
I'm probably shooting for about 30 to 50 ounces of silver and a half ounce of gold. Now, this year kind of changed a little bit with my strategy. I went a little more gold heavy sometimes, a little more silver heavy, depending on what the best prices were. Right now, things are crazy. And the reason they're crazy, I think, is because so many new people are in the stock market, are in crypto, are in um, precious metals, and just getting into this, trying to put your money where it, it could do what you think could do the best for you in the long run, that I think a lot of the old rules don't apply so much. Now, precious metals, if anybody has been... I'm new to them. I've been into a couple of years, even though I've known of them for a long, long time. And instinctually, I, I kind of always knew this would be somewhere I would love to, to be involved in. But when I look at the history, it's not following a lot of the same patterns. You know, when, when the dollar is weak, so precious metals should be, you know, doing well and vice versa. And, you know, the stock market has a bearing on it and... I think spot price doesn't mean as much anymore to the actual stackers. In other words, people who like the uh, physical, had to hold physical precious metals. And I've even been watching some of the some of the channels that I that I cut my teeth on, uh, uh, Yankee, uh, Sale, and a couple others. And and even they're seeing things a little weird, you know, in, in the markets, but. The only constant I know is just keep stacking. You know, just keep stacking. Um, you know, that's that's kind of where my thoughts are right now. My thoughts are I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to continue to stack. Even if I have to stack smaller pieces, I think in the long run, it's still going to be better off. I do have a 401k. I, I contribute it. I contribute relatively substantially to that because the match on that is 50 cents on uh, on the dollar at my uh, at my employer, that's a pretty good return, no matter how you look at it. I mean, that's basically free money. Yeah, I know it is fiat money, but it is gaining. Like, believe it or not, I'm doing really well. I have not had any dips with with what I've chosen. I'm very conservative, um, and 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 it seems to have done really well for me. Some of my friends have, you know, seen significant losses and rebounds back and forth. Mine's been pretty steady my 401k so I'm, I'm good there not worried about that this is this is where my enjoyment and my trust lies with with precious metals um i messed around with the crypto a little bit but that's not even worth talking about so you know that's my mindset so like i said 30 to 50 ounces of silver i'm thinking if i'm at 40 ounces at the end of the year i'm doing pretty well and a half ounce of gold and the reason for that is uh, I haven't been doing certain things to kind of make extra money on the side or whatever. Um, so there's not a lot of side extra money coming in. Obviously, inflation has hit pretty hard. So things just cost more. I don't have as much disposable income. So I'm going to keep my goals a little low. Plus, I, I, I have a long-term goal of 100 ounces of silver and one ounce of gold a year. I'm ahead of that, you know, I'm heading heading into the third year, and I'm pretty close to three ounces of gold and over 300 ounces of silver. So I'm I'm already ahead of that long term goal, but I don't want to sit on my laurels and let it catch up to me. So I do want to make a relatively significant contribution for the year, and hopefully get back on track over the next couple of years. Um, and, and that's about it for that. Now I know it's kind of long winded, but that's where I'm at. I also want to uh, announce that I will be doing a Christmas giveaway. I'll probably have a video up for that, the comment video, within the next few days. It's not going to be as big as it was last year, but it will be um, a decent prize. And I'll, like always, there will be a little packet for you to pass along to someone you would like to get into it, a child, and uh, someone who's shown interest to kind of get more people into our our community here and I also want to touch on speaking of community I, I want to reiterate how how much this community means to me um, I haven't been around so much and and some of my my handful of viewers that actually watch my videos 
You just know I haven't been around so much. I, I, I did make an appearance in one of my favorite live streams, which is Shibby Rob. Um, just to let you guys know, I am still around. And it's not that I don't like the community. There were a few community members who I was just didn't want to be around. I didn't, and they happened to frequent a lot of the same places I did. I didn't really want to be around because of them. And uh, the, the main one, he, that person's gone. And not to bring a negative note on every, anything, but I kind of suspected that there was something wrong with this person. Like, they weren't who they let themselves to be. I don't know what it was. I just had a vibe really, really early on. But I, I should be around more often, and you guys will see me in some more of the live streams. Plus, a lot of some of the live streams of with the people who I watched from the big, from my beginning, you know, my en entry into this community, haven't been posting so much. And I believe there's a lot of shortages on the coin roll, the coins for the coin roll hunts and things like that. Some of the bigger channels are able to get coins, but as far as the half dollars, a lot of people haven't been able to, which I will pop in here and there and say hello on those. And just some in general haven't been posting. You know, hopefully they get back into into it more, more and more, but that's the general synopsis of how my year went and what I'm looking for the next year. And like I said, I will be putting a video out for a Christmas giveaway. Um, and just repeat myself again, like, like, like I always do. Thank you to the uh, coin collecting, silver stacking, gold stacking community. I appreciate everything that you know we share with each other over this past couple of years, these past difficult couple of years. Sometimes you can't get out and do what you want to do. Sometimes you have to kind of go virtual with your with your hobbies, and it's been a big help to me. So thank you, YouTube. Thanks, coin community, and you'll see me shortly.